Hello fellow Sudokans. Welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardians Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 25th of January 2024. I hope you are keeping well. Cat is sitting on my lap looking at me as though I shouldn't be speaking to you. But anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you and not talk to the cat. <laughs> Cats seem to have a, a sense of uh, what they... They always need uh, total attention, I think. Um... I didn't manage to get in any of the more difficult games yesterday uh, because I was too busy. Hopefully today I'll get in at least one of the extra games apart from The Guardian uh, later on today. Um, and uh, what's going on in the world? Uh, well, it's all happening in Argentina. Of course, uh, their new president, Javier Millet, uh, was um, elected just a short time ago. A couple months ago, and uh, already uh, there are demonstrations and strikes. Uh, uh, one month ago, I think actually, strikes across uh, Ar Argentina and Buenos Aires has seen demonstrations of tens of thousands of people against his policies. Uh, neoliberalism is awful, a total neoliberalism, uh, where you let the markets control everything, is a really bad idea. It's been disproved over and over again. Uh, it just causes pain for the people, 99% of the people, and of course allows 1% of the, the 1% to get richer and richer. Uh, it's a really bad idea, so let's hope that he rethinks. He is finding, though, because he doesn't have control of the parliament there, his party is very small um, compared to some others, he's having to negotiate. So negotiation is always a good thing, especially from crazed more crazed people like him uh, who say i will never negotiate anyway good luck to the people of argentina let's get on with the game of sudoku as supplied by the guardian this is their hard level it's a thursday normally thursday friday they supply what they call a hard level sometimes it's not hard at all occasionally it's quite tough so let's find out whether today's is going to be one of those days or not start with the two in that location there and I've got a three blocking across here and across here and down there. And we've got threes going up here, down here and across here. So that will give us another three. And we'll continue with the threes. They look likely. Threes up there. And can we, can we? Yes, it looks like we're going to finish off the threes because we've got one over here and that's going to lead to another one over there. And I believe that's the last. Indeed it was. Uh, we have nine. Oh, forget that. <laughs> uh, I've just woken up. <laughs> we have nine down here. And nine across there, that's more like it. We will fit a nine in that square there. <clears throat> right, that's the easy stuff that I've noticed without uh, trying to look. So let's start going through the digits and see if we spot anything. Oh yeah, okay, we've got uh, one blocking here, and one blocking there, and one blocking there. So that will give us one in that square. Okay, the two up here and across here puts two into one of these two squares, blocking across. And two blocking across here, and two blocking up here. My cat's sighing like he's fed up. He is, yeah, it does have a pretty boring existence at the moment though, because he really wants to go outside and he hasn't been allowed out for far, more than five weeks already. So he's getting pretty desperate. Uh, three is done, fours, what do we know? Oh, we've got a nice four blocking up here, which will give us the four there. Well, I've just noticed the eight blocking up here and across here, so I'm going to do that one first before I do anything else. And the eight back here and across there, I'm going to put the eight there. 
uh, and I do know that we've got 1 and 8 blocking down here so this is 1 and 8 so in these squares we're looking for uh, 5, 6, 7 we've got a 5 there but the reason I did that is because I, it means I can get this so this is 5, 6, 7 uh, so up here we're going to get a 4 aren't we okay And these squares will be five or six, is that right? Six blocking up here, there's our six. And we'll be left with a five there, okay. Six blocking across here gives us a six. This square. Four blocking up here and here means that this is a four. And this will be what? Five nine. So this must be a seven. And then we can finish here with a five. Missing numbers here are 2, 4 and 7. We've got 2 and 7 in the same column, so that's going to be a 4. Right, uh, I started to go through the digits and I stopped because I spotted something. So um, should I resume that or should I do something else? Hold on. Uh, no, let's not do that. We've got seven blocking here, so that's going to be a seven. And this will be whatever it will be. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, it's a one. Uh, right, any more ones to be found? Uh, not sure. So let's try the twos. Four we can definitely get. That's the last four. Six down here, across there, there's our six, six across here and across here, there's our six. Six and seven block down here, so we definitely got a pair of six and seven in those squares down here, which means this is going to be one and eight. Any luck? No, no, not across here. Uh, this is one and eight, does that help? Uh, eights are there, one eight. So this is not one or eight, it's going to be five and nine. No, nope. that makes sense. This is five and nine. Well, it means that this can't be, this square here can't be five or nine. I mean, there's no, probably no need for a unique rectangle to play this game, but I like them because some people make some people angry, so I definitely like them. This cannot be five or nine. So it's not one, two, three, four five six seven or nine it's got to be the eight okay so eight across here eight across there there's an eight uh, and the nine blocks across here so that's our nine then the nine blocks up there that's our nine and uh, I'm one missing somewhere nine across here there and down there for a nine that's done now. Five is the last number to get here. Five is here, of course. And over here, the last number is a seven. Just notice my voice is seems my voice seems to be in a lower register at this morning. It's probably because I was speaking all day long yesterday. My voice goes down. It gets very deep <laughs> when I speak a lot the next day. Uh, a one is in this square here. And. 
five blocks here so that will give us a five in that square and five down and down means you're a five and this must be a two two across here will give us a two in that square and a five finishes that block not much more to go now uh, what do we need down here oh can't say sorry uh, let's see okay where have we got ones uh, we've got one blocking this square, one blocking this square, and one blocking this square. So in this row, that's a digit one. Where have we got twos? Or oh, where don't we have twos? We need a two blocking that square. That will finish off the twos and a seven here. Uh, okay. Uh, there's one more digit to f go down here. What are you? I did say earlier on, now I've forgotten, it's an eight. Okay, so eight across here and eight down there means you're an eight, eight back this way and this way gives us an eight there. The last number to fill in the hole here is a four. No, it can't be a four. I've done the fours already. Six, can it be a six? Yes, it is a six. Okay, and what's left to be done now? Uh, missing digits here are what two no seven six seven missing digits here are one seven oh that's what we need here <laughs> uh, that's a one isn't it so one back that way here's our one here's our seven seven across that way here's a seven and this will be a six so six blocking across here and across there gives us the six here this is a seven and a five will finish the game. That's our not very hard, <laughs> again, hard level game from the Guardian. Like I say, if I get a chance, I'll play another game later. There's certainly more chance of it today than there was yesterday. Bye-bye.